I did get asked in my interview, obviously, about obviously an ex that we Our have a link friend. with. Yeah. yeah. She's your friend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mutual friend. I felt sorry for you on that one. Really? Like, just the way, yeah, the way it's, I mean, just for what you read, like... For me, I was very young. You know, I was in this situation, I would, I would, I've seen it for, like, uh, four months. Then it all started to get sort of really heavy and, you know, I was only 17. Mm. You know, so I had to say, right then, look, you know, I'm only young, you know, I'm, I'm not, um, you know, I don't, I don't really want to have a sort of, you know, long-term, you know, relationship at this age. Mm. You know, and then when she... She then sold the story, you know, so I just go, oh, no, you know, it's all lies, it's all lies, which was the worst thing to do because <laughs> then she was like, rah! <laughs> um, um. At the height of his fame, Gareth had four number one singles, sellout tours and global sales of over five million records. But the Boy Wonder's career went into freefall when he denied his affair with the audacious celebrity steamroller and ex of new bandmate Dane, Katie Price. The only th uh, thing that I thought in my head to do was to say, no, this, is, you know, this hasn't ever happened. He tried to deny the secret affair with mild-mannered Price. I felt like I'd, I, I had to simply because I didn't want my family to know about my, my sex life. Just one thing. Never trust a pop idol. I wasn't honest with anybody. My management, my family, my friends, and so they all backed me and were on my side. And then it just got worse. <laughs> the affair was something he found too personal to share with his mum, Wendy, obviously, or even sisters Jessica and Charlotte. Yeah, I lied. Yeah. No, but I only sort of lied about it because I didn't... You know, want my my family, you know, you know, to read that. Why would I? I think you'd be slightly No. <laughs> I just asked, asked if there was anybody pregnant. <laughs> That's all I said. I, I, I was just sort of like, because I didn't, I didn't know what, I didn't know, did I, when he came home that day to, to sort of tell us? Yeah. Because we chose to obviously believe it didn't happen. And I don't understand why he did it, because he was 17. It seemed to get blown out of proportion, like, so what? Do you know what I mean? It got made bigger, a bigger deal than what it actually Yeah, but that's was. because of uh, where Gareth was at that time. Well, this pop star that every teenage girl loved. I used to go onto the internet and see the reaction of people and it was absolutely awful. You know, that people were talking about my son like that. People all over the world then didn't like him. Do you think it affected your career? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've certainly had to um, warn people back to me, I think. Not being honest with people, uh, I kind of lost quite a few f uh, fans then. Since his pop peak, he's had a crack at musical theatre, tried dancing on some ice, and has also started his own performing arts academy back home in Bradford but his personal life is something of a catastrophe. The worst point in my life was obviously the breakup of my, my marriage. I haven't been the best of boyfriends, husband, made mistakes, and I'm certainly not proud of that. I don't get to spend every day with my daughter. You know, she's my world, and I'd do anything for her. Mm. 